Just a few quick shout outs before we start today's video. I wanted to go ahead and shout out Lady C, which is the place to be. You guys definitely head on over and check out and support Lady C from Lady C's hauls and all. I'll go ahead and add her channel in the description box below of this video. She sent me the most beautifulest thing ever. This is so cute. She is a Scentsy consultant and she sent me this Christmas piece, which is a, um, it is a wax warmer. This is absolutely so adorable. She and I have a huge bond of, you know, Disney and this is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much, Lady C, for sending me this out. She also sent me some wax to try out. This is absolutely such a beautiful piece and it's so cute. Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, Donald and Goofy and it is a Christmas tree and then it has the little tray for the wax and it has Chip and Dale that is so cute so thank you so much again lady c you guys definitely head on over if you love 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 dollar trees and cooking and that was bella and i'm so sorry <laughs> bella um bella's my golden retriever for those of you who do not know she does amazing food i'm not kidding you she and hubby get down in the kitchen and every time they showcase cooking and food, oh my God, I lose my mind and I get so hungry. She does amazing Dollar Tree hauls. You guys are going to love her. She has also, she goes to Dollar Tree and shows you what's in store. So definitely head on over and support her. Thank you so much again, Lady C. I appreciate you so much. And then I also wanted to go ahead and shout out my friend Andrea from Andrea Nicole. Andrea, I got your beautiful Valentine's Day card. Thank you so much. And I love, love, love the Valentine's Day cards inside. They definitely were so nostalgic. They brought me back to when I used to do that, you know, back in elementary school and middle school and all those good times. So thank you so much for sending it out, my friend. I appreciate you so much. And Andrea also has a YouTube channel, you guys. I'll go ahead and link hers as well down in the description box below. Hey guys, Daniel here from Golden Finds. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about my thrift tips. Now, I want to say that I've been thrifting about roughly four years or so now. So I wanted to go ahead and share my tips of what has worked for me. I know that this may work differently for you or anyone else, but I wanted to go ahead and just give you guys a little bit of information and insightfulness of what I have experienced thrifting within those four years of a span. Again, going back the thrifting, you know, I've started roughly or it's been roughly four years that I have thrifted, you know, started thrifting and I ultimately love it. Now there are definitely some ups and downs to thrifting and I have my own experience. I'm sure if you guys have thrifted as well, then you have your own experience as well. So I really hope that these tips gives you guys, you know, if you're wanting to start out, wanting to do thrifting, then I hope that these are very helpful to you. Or if you're also, you know, you have been thrifting for a long time and maybe these are tips that you may or may not have known, then I hope that they become helpful for you as well. It literally does become the thrill of a hunt and it's literally so much fun because you come across so many things that you would never think you would find at a thrift store. Again, thrift stores receive donations. Some of them do get liquidation items from several stores around them. So it just kind of depends on the area that you are at but the thrill and the excitement of coming across an amazing treasure is something so unexplainable so i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of my 
key tips you know and tricks to thrifting and i do hope that they do become helpful again for those of you who may be thinking of starting to thrift or if you are a well-rounded thrifter and i hope that these you know give you some new pointers that you may not have thought about so without further ado let's go ahead and start with tip number one now I am also combining this with a thrift with me session. So make sure that you guys stay tuned because I will be showcasing all of the items that I came across during this thrift trip session that I was trying to film for you guys. And also make sure to stay tuned for a haul because there will be one as well. So the very first tip that I will give you guys is get a feel of your stores. What are the best times? What are the best days of the week to actually go and venture out into your thrift store now i really recommend that you guys look into whatever specific store you are looking for look up your information of your specific stores that you're trying to hit up it's always so much more better to go in with an idea of one what are their hours you know what are their donation hours stores are around your area always familiarize yourself with the store that you want to go visit it just really becomes a so much fun and easier experience when you do that homework before heading into a thrift store and then also get a feel of just the store itself you know like if you um want to find out when's the best time to go to a thrift store Go during different times of the week. Go on different days of the week. Go on a Monday, a Wednesday, a Friday, a weekend. Mix it up however you guys want to do it. But get a feel of your store. So maybe you may want to avoid specific days during the week. Now, I only specifically thrift on the weekends and I only reserve it for Saturday. So Saturday can be sometimes a little hectic, but it only tends to be hectic towards more around noon time. I always go right when they open. So I go right bright and early you know early bird gets the worm which is absolutely true with thrift stores because you're going to beat out everyone else who's trying to go and find cool stuff so i always try and go in the morning and i go on saturdays make sure that you guys do your homework do your due diligence and figuring out what specific days what time is the best time to go to your thrift store familiarize yourself with the area familiarize with the store itself the donation hours their hours of operation and that will make everything so much more flawless tip number two may be a little hypocritical because i sometimes do tend to do this so my number two tip is don't grab a cart now i know that can be you know a double-edged sword because one if you don't get a cart which is what i try to do is i don't get a cart because you actually now have space you have room you have a huge area where you can be like okay i can take this i can put that i can take this should i buy that so it kind of gives you more of the impression like you have more room to quote unquote shop and buy so for me i try to really limit the amount of items that i bring back from the thrift store i don't want it to be an impulse buy where i'm just like oh my gosh this is super cute and i want it and it's amazing i really try to envision am i going to use that item so when you bring a cart yes you can definitely bring a cart but for me it's a lot harder because then i kind of like find the excuse like well i have my cart i can take this i can put that now i know that you can you know browse through everything put things into your cart and then decide at the end whether or not you want to buy them because as we know the game of it all is you need to grab it when you see it so but personally for me, I just don't grab a cart because I know that if I do, I may be more enticed to want to bring more things home. So what I do is, is whatever I can carry in my two hands, and this is while I'm filming too, which I have to sometimes put things on the shelf in the meantime near me and film whatever I'm filming and then pick them up, pick them up back and then go around the store. But to me, it's just more of a... It holds me back from being able to make so many purchases because I know myself and I know that I can buy so much at the thrift store, but I hold myself back. Tip number three for my thrifters. 
check if your store has a discount system. So a lot of thrift stores run on a color system. So that could be anything from like yellow, blue, purple, orange, you name it. Every thrift store is different. Each thrift store will have a different discount system. Each will have a different color system. Each one will even have additional discounts on top of the color tags. So definitely ask around your thrift store if they have a specific color system, especially if you get a sale off percentage during that week. For example, here in Orange County, with the Goodwill stores that I visit, they do run on a color system. So they pick one color and whatever color it is during the week, any item that you find in store is going to be 50% off if it has that color tag. And that goes from clothing, housewares, furniture, electronics, you name it. So that's always amazing to find something that's 50% off because again, the thrill of the hunt, especially if it's a really good price for whatever you find and it's 50% off, yes, please add it into the cart. So again, look into that with your specific thrift store. A lot of other stores do different systems where they'll do like senior discounts. They might do a military discount. They might do, uh, um, I've seen even some with social media discounts. If you follow them on their social media platform, they'll give you like a small percent off. Um, there's, again, seniors. If you're a senior, definitely check with your thrift store because a lot of them do observe that. And they'll have, you know, specific days that they do that. But for example, again, going back to Orange County Goodwills, they will do like, let's say, for example, the color of the week is yellow. So that will start on Friday and then it will last an entire week up until Thursday. And then the next Friday will have a completely different color. So again, just look into that because that is going to give you some really important information about whether, you know, if you want to decide on a factor of whether or not you should pick something up because it really does help that 50% off. I mean, you are already getting a really good price at the thrift store, but I know, I know you guys, I know that a lot of thrift stores are raising up their prices, but some thrift stores definitely are still a lot more better than others. So Take that into note so that way you guys can look out for some amazing deals. Tip number four, check online prices for new versus thrifted. Now this definitely goes into effect a lot for me. As you guys know, our Goodwills here get um, liquidation items from Target. And again, we get everything from toys to books to housewares to clothing to bedding to shoes to beauty products, even a lot of the stuff from the holiday and decor and like candy and foods, even foods, you guys. Yes, we do get canned foods and bottled foods and you name it. So I always make sure that if it is something that is currently being sold at Target, then I definitely look up on my mobile app, which I have on my phone. So that goes for anything that you find at the thrift store. If you know it's from a specific store, if you know it's a specific brand or whatever the case may be, do a quick search on your phone. Don't go based off on the fact that it's just at the thrift store, so you're probably getting a better deal. No, no, no. That is probably one of the most biggest mistakes that you can make is that, okay, it's at the thrift store. I'm already getting a good deal, right? Absolutely not. It's not always true. And sometimes you're going to find that you can actually find it cheaper or about the same price if you were to get it brand new at the actual store. So that's what I always do with my Target finds. And actually, the best thing about that is that Orange County Goodwill... um since they do get items and they do get current items that you can still find at Target at that time. So they get liquidation items, but they have to sell them for half off of what Target sells them for, which would always makes it so exciting for me because I can find things that are cheaper. Now, of course, it's not going to be everything that you can find at Target, but it's still exciting if you find something that you can pick up for half the price and it's still brand new. So a lot of the things that you have to be careful though is like for example candles candles here in the goodwill stores that get them from target sometimes do still tend to sell them really expensive especially with candles that are off season from like you know their seasonal holiday candles they're trying to still sell them for a 
almost like near price when they were during that season so you just have to be very careful and again that goes for anything that you're searching for at the thrift store make sure you do a quick search on your phone to see if the price is right at the thrift store and my last tip tip number five is going to be check if your thrift store has a return policy now again this goes for all thrift stores each of them will have their own different system so make sure that you guys get very knowledgeable in what their policy is for example the orange county goodwill stores here do not accept returns on anything except for electronics electronics are the only thing that they will return with a receipt and you have seven days to return that item if it does not work. But the only thing about that is, is that you don't get your money back, you get store credit. So that's going to be store credit that you're going to use on a future purchase. So make sure that you guys take that into consideration look into your thrift store ask them before you even purchase anything what is your return policy do you have a return policy and what is it how long is it for some of them may not have anything at all in place because you know a lot of again these are secondhand items but a lot of them don't really have a return policy. So definitely make sure that you guys look into that. That way you're able to get a clear idea of whether or not you want to pick something up because again, that is going to be lost money out of your pocket. Let's get this thrift jam started, you guys. I was really feeling myself in this song that they were playing at the store. <laughs> of course, I can't play it because, you know, copyright issues, but... You know, you have to have fun and just enjoy yourself when you're out. So here we're going to go thrifting and see what goodies we found during this trip. As you guys can see, here are some candles. You guys know that I absolutely love, love, love picking up candles. So I did see a few here. There were also a few different ones from Bath and Body Works. So they definitely had some really good options here, like that Archipelago, which is a very expensive brand. And then here are a few of the Bath and Body Works candles that I found. And I was surprised that they were here because usually i do find them a lot but they usually always are gone by the time that i get to the thrift store on the weekend then these bird salt and pepper shakers were absolutely so cute they would be so nice for like a farmhouse feel or for spring they were not bad for the price either they were really cute and what a throwback these were I was so like wowed when I saw these. These are for your water gallons. These are water dispensers. They're so cool and they really gave me like a throwback feeling with the decor on them. Here was some Easter decor. This egg was really cute. It was all wrapped in a bow and it was glittery too. I am on the hunt for certain pieces for Easter but I am going to be looking out more for bunnies that is definitely on my shopping list here we see a gingerbread plate by chantal and that was four dollars and 99 cents for that now here's an extra tip for you guys be very very careful when you are grabbing things at the thrift store because as you can see this is broken so you could really hurt yourself just be very very careful what you pick up so I'm going to throw in a extra tip in here, you guys. And that is, which is super, 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 super hard for me. Only buy what you're going to use. Oh, yes. It's super hard because I will say from experience, you guys, thrifting and the thrill of it, you can get sucked into it really fast. So be very, very careful with what you purchase because if not, you're going to end up either returning it back to the thrift store because as donations not as credit you know donating it back or you're going to gift it to someone else or you know it's going to end up somewhere in your house and you'll never see it again so just be very very careful because again the thrill can be very exciting you know you're finding all of these amazing goodies but it can add up so fast and i'm telling you guys from experience it's super hard because you do end up getting into a cluttered home and i am slowly but surely 
decluttering my home right now. I'm in the process of getting rid of some stuff. I did a lot of impulse buying in the beginning of my thrifting adventures. And now I'm slowly but surely purging a lot of the items. So just be very, very careful with what you buy. Make sure that you look in the item, envision it. Can you envision it using it in your home? Where can you place it? Do you have a space for it at home? Don't just buy on impulse. Moving on, here are some wreaths. You guys know that I cannot pass up a good wreath. So these are really nice. They're gorgeous. I like the little pumpkins on them. I was currently looking for one so I can display out all year round. So I was on the hunt for that as well. Usually I go in with, you know, thinking of a few things that I may want to pick up. Now I may have a good day and find them or I may not. That's just how the way it is with thrifting. You just never know what you're going to come across. Some days are good and some days won't be the best. But this basket was everything. I loved how big it was and I love the detail on all of the baskets threading. Hey guys, before we move on, let's go ahead and do the comment of the week. And today's comment of the week is going to go out to Home with Jay. I would have bought the junk pumpkin too. <laughs> Thank you so much for your comment. I truly appreciate you for watching. And yes, yes, thank you for agreeing with me on the junk pumpkin. For those of you who do not remember, the junk pumpkin is being referred to what hubby called um, what I said in my previous video where I shared with you guys the terracotta pumpkin that I found that was at Goodwill, but it was originally from Home Goods, and my husband had referred to it as junk when he saw it. So I am so glad that, you know, not only Jay, but so many of you also agree that the pumpkin was a great buy. So that goes to show that hubby does not know what he's talking about. But thank you so much, Home with Jay, for your comments. I appreciate you so much. Now, I know a lot of people are getting over Ray Dunn, but I haven't seen a huge influx of it at the thrift store. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have come across it at your thrift stores. Saw these two Ray Dunn baskets that are cute with the burlap sack on them. Saw this Christmas tin. Now, it's not vintage, but it's still a really good replica of one. I love how it has Santa all over in the phone booth, and it's actually like a coin bank. Then I saw this other one that says Season's Greetings. Again, more newer, not exactly vintage for what I'm looking for. Saw these crate and barrel gold fish stirrers. These are so fun. They're so cute and adorable. They definitely would be so fun in a drink. So those were nice to find. I also do come across pieces like that. Now, remember with going back to my tips, you guys, sometimes the stuff here from Target is overpriced. Like to me, this is really exaggerated at $18 when I know this was probably on clearance in Target once Christmas was over. So it, some of the stuff just doesn't make sense when you come across it. So be very, very careful when you are shopping for specific things. Here I saw this garland from Threshold. Again, this is another piece that I definitely would have loved, but again, being very picky with what made it home and also the price of it as well. It needs to absolutely make sense when it comes to thrifting Target items that are still brand new. Then here is a Radon mug, Hot Chick. That's also a movie. What a throwback. And this is perfect for Easter spring season, which I will be doing an inventory soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that, you guys. Here's an Anthropology egg holder. Now, Anthropology is also another brand that I love to pick up to resell. And it's also really nice to have as well. I do like their collections. They are pricey. So it's always nice to see it here at the thrift store. So be on the lookout for Anthropology. Here's another Radon mug, and this one says Mary, so this is the Christmas collection mug, and that was only 99 cents, so not bad. Now, I do love coming across new items like this, so this is from Target, and $1.99 for this scrub mommy. Yes, please, because we know that they're actually a little bit more expensive at the actual store. So I do regret not picking up a few, but they had so many of them. So maybe I'll be lucky to find one next 
next week. Saw this chicken, the ceramic one, really cute for farmhouse decor. Not exactly the vibe that I go for when it comes to my farmhouse decor, but this was an actual really nice piece. I really did like it, and I'm sure someone's going to give it a loving home. And what about this Prada eyeglass case? Well, how about it being nada? Because there's actually nothing in there. It was just the case, but it did have its cleaning cloth. So if you do keep an eye out for certain sunglass cases like this, they do resell for a lot as well. And I saw this turkey basket. I'm always on the hunt for something for Thanksgiving and fall season because I am going to be decorating this year. So that was a nice piece. One thing that I do come across a lot that's right done is definitely the mugs. I do feel like a lot of people end up always buying a lot of mugs for Ray done and they end up donating them. So that's what I come across a lot when I'm 15. Then I saw this other Easter ceramic piece. This is such a beautiful decorative piece. I really love the neutral colors. It's originally from Arlington, the brand, and I think it might have been carried by Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. So make sure you guys stay tuned. The haul is coming right up next and check out what made it home with me. Welcome to the haul portion of the video, you guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed those tips and also the walkthrough in Goodwill. So let's go ahead and see what made it home. So I'm going to start out with these because I have most of them or the most of this item, I guess you could say. So I have become obsessed with thrifting for candles. <sighs> Something else to add to the list. So now I've been obsessed with finding Bath & Body Works candles, you guys. I'm finding them for such great prices and they are in brand new condition. So the very first one is actually not a Bath & Body Works candle, but I did pick up the Archipelago. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm butchering that. Archipelago. I think it's Archi Archipelago. Archipelago candle in the Palm Beach scent the scent is agave nectar, lemon zest, and sandal wood. Now, this candle was $2.99. And it's halfway, I guess you could say, it's halfway finished. It's right about here. And this has all been consumed already. So, for $2.99, I don't feel it's too bad. But, you guys, this is an amazing smell. It's a two-wick candle. It smells amazing. And Archipelago candles are not cheap, you guys. I'll go ahead and see if I can either find it online and see if it's still being sold here. I'll place it on here. Or I'll put a just an Archipelago candle and to show you guys that they're not cheap. They're, they're pricey candles. Then I also picked up two Bath & Body Works candles. This one I'm removing the lid. Oh, this smells so good. This was $4.99 and this was a Bath & Body Works candle, Tis the Season. And this is in the scent of... Tis the Season is the name of the scent. Rich Red Apple, Sweet Cinnamon, and Setter Wood. So that is amazing. And then the last candle that I got was... Oh, it smells so good. Now this one is a used candle. As you guys can see, it was burnt, but only for a little bit. This is the Cranberry Pear Bellini. 
Oh my goodness. Bath and Body Works. $4.99 for this one. And this one smells so, so amazing. Speaking of Bath and Body Works, I also found this. Now, this was a first for me. I had not found anything else that was Bath and Body Works related. And I found this Champagne Toast White Barn hand soap so this is the foaming hand soap it was four dollars and 99 cents now this is something that goes on with my tips you guys i did mention in the video to always check to see that you are getting a fair price again just because it's at the thrift store doesn't mean that it's cheap so i did search this before purchasing it and it was in fact cheaper than what you can get it online at bath and body works i'll go ahead and add the image of how much this is going for currently again the price may have changed since i looked at it because i did thrift this about either i think it was a week or two ago i thrifted this so i don't know if they have a sale going on right now or if this got price lower but i'll go ahead and add it on here but it was cheaper at the time that i purchased it so that was a really good find and this is again champagne toast it smells amazing then i also picked up two more baskets that i'm going to be utilizing for the hutch on the top if you guys saw my decorate with me video i said i was going to add two more baskets so i did find these cylindrical tall ones and they currently have a plastic bag in them i think someone was using them for plants so i just have to clip that off and these were a dollar 99 each so those came home with me and then last but not least, I am starting to look for Easter decor. So I did pick up the bunny little ceramic tray, if you want to call it. It kind of looks like a paint palette because it has, you know, the holder right here. But I thought it was absolutely so precious. I think this was originally from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think, yes, Home Goods. I see the tag now. The tag is right behind the Goodwill tag. It was $4.99. It was originally $7.99 at Home Goods. This is part of the Arlington design. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty. Look at that neutral tone of the bunny. So this is perfect for Easter. That's the end of today's video, you guys. I hope that this really was a source of knowledge for you for those of you who are looking to start thrifting or may already be you know a full-time thrifter and these tips hopefully gave you some new information i hope that you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below is there anything in the walkthrough that you would have picked up for yourself or did you like anything from my haul as well and let me know if you have your own thrifting tips. I would love to hear them as well. Drop them down in the comments below. Or if you just want to say a hi, how are you? I love that as well. I love talking to you guys. Again, it gives us that one-on-one -on -one time where I get to know you a little bit more. So I really appreciate it when you guys leave comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you consider subscribing. You guys, we are getting close to the 2000 mark. And it would be absolutely amazing once we reach that. I cannot wait. I love that my channel is growing little by little and I know that it's all thanks to you guys and for all the other YouTube content creators who have shouted me out. I always appreciate you guys so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So until the next time, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, that you're having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and until the next one. Bye.